What's going on? Average Tech Guy here. And today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And this time we're gonna be doing an everyday carry for this. This is the iPad Air, fourth gen. So let's check it out. So in order to do a proper everyday carry, you gotta have a bag, right? So the bag that we're gonna talk about today is going to be the Alpaca Alpha Sling. So this is probably one of the best, smallest little pouches that I've been able to find. Has several compartments that are gonna be able to keep your iPad, as well as any accessories that you may wanna carry along with it. Hence, everyday carry. So the Alpha Sling is gonna probably run you anywhere from about 60 to 70 bucks, depending on where you pick it up at. Uh, sometimes you can find these on Amazon and they're a pretty good deal. Uh, the strap is really comfortable as you put it around yourself. And when you are wearing this, it's easily accessible. And it also has a magnetic clasp that's gonna allow for easy entry to the bag itself. Tough, sturdy, and very minimalistic. This is the Alpaca Alpha Sling. Great carry all for your everyday carry on your iPad Air 4th Gen. So this is the Zugu Alpha, probably one of the best cases that I've been able to find for my iPad since the year 2018. It has magnetic flaps on the back, has nine different standing angles that you can use on the front. And when you put the iPad in there, it just looks good. It goes from edge to edge and it has that total coverage that everyone's looking for in the iPad case. There's no issue with the auto sleep weight and you have tons of standing angles due to those nine different grooves that reside on the front of the case. Now, when you're talking about holding your pencil in place, there are no issues. It sits up there. Even if you shake this, it's still not coming loose. And you do have an option on the back to slide your pencil down in that slot if need be. Now these are Pixel Buds, but not just any Pixel Buds. This is the second generation of Pixel Buds. And most people would say you should have AirPods, which I do have a pair of AirPods, but when it comes to being more dependable, the Pixel Buds actually work a lot better in my opinion. You have volume up and down on the toggles right on the side built into them. And the case is really easy to open and close with one hand. There's been no issue while I've been using these and they're really comfortable in my ear. The Pixel Buds 2 from Google. And you have to have some extra power. So this is the Aki Pro Basics 20,000 milliamp hour power pack. It packs a while. Now, normally you'll use this with your cell phone, but this can be used with your iPad. And don't let the small frame fool you. This stand is super sturdy. So while you're charging your iPad up via the USB type C port, you can actually place your phone on the front and use the wireless charging capability. Aki has some of the most reliable chargers and they're also PD chargers as well as fast chargers. So you carry this thing around, you got 20,000 milliamp hours in your pocket, charge your phone and your tablet with Aki Pro Basics. Next up, you gotta store your memory. So this is the WD Passport SSD. It has USB type C capability and it also has password protection. Now, keeping in mind your password cannot be used on your iPad, but this thing is still really easy and really simple. It's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. It goes anywhere that you go. And data speeds and transfer is really super quick on this device. This is the WD Passport SSD. Now, when you think minimalistic style setups, you think Keychron. Keychron has some of the best, most functional keyboards, and this one is no different. This is the K3, super slim, super sleek. This thing packs a punch. USB Type-C capable, Bluetooth capable. You can either use this in a wired mode or the Bluetooth mode. Has the capability to connect to three different devices, and you can just toggle between which ones you want, but the form factor on this is really slim. I mean, if you put this up beside your iPad, uh, basically you can't tell the difference in them. So if you're looking for a super slim, super sleek keyboard, I think the Keychron K3 is the way to go. And we all like to write on our iPad. So the Logitech Crayon is probably one of the most affordable options other than some of the third party ones I've featured, but this one is special. It actually has a lot of the technology that Apple put into the Apple Pencil built right into here. Now, Logitech is probably one of those companies that works closely with Apple, and this thing works well. The writing is still smooth, there are no issues with it, and I like this thing a lot. 
when you're drawing, everything is super fluid. If you're taking notes, everything is still super fluid. And it has everything that the Apple Pencil has, minus the pressure sensitivity. Now, it still does palm rejection, and it still works in notes. It's gonna still make those shapes that you like. It's still going to interact with Scribble. I mean, the options are really limitless. Keeping that in mind, this is an alternative that you may like. Um, if you notice, you can still take your screenshots uh, via swiping up from the side of the screen. Big shout out to Logitech for putting together a device that allows you to basically feel like you're using an Apple Pencil while you're not. And last but not least, this is the TomTalk portfolio. And it is a portfolio. This thing is hard on the outside and it's able to house all of your favorite iPad uh, accessories. If you open it up, you can store your supply of power in there. I got the Basics Pro in there. You can actually put your Logitech Crayon in there as well. Goes really simple. Your WD Passport SSD fits right down in one of those slots, but the Keychron won't go. So don't even try it. But then when you turn to the back, you actually have the slot where your Apple iPad fits. Now I still have the Apple Pencil hooked onto the side and this will even fit in there with the Slim portfolio. This is the TomTop portfolio by the company TomTop. So this is it. You have power, you have data, you have pencils, you have portfolios, you have cases, you have bags, you have everything that you can need for your everyday carry with your iPad. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'm gonna be sure and drop a link below to each and every one of these devices so you can check them out for yourself. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up. Please continue to subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.